What's up, everybody? Potatoes are done. Like this. You know how you, you know you know they're done when you stick a fork in them? And the fork goes in there nice and smooth and easy. That's when they're done. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to drain a little bit of this water out. It looks like that. Come over here and get some of the milk. Put about a cup and a half of milk in there. We use Rouse's. Shout out to Rouse's Market. They hook us up with groceries. Good stuff. Uh, let's shoot some, let's put some pepper in there. We're gonna put a little bit of garlic powder, like so, about a tablespoon. Get your extra virgin olive oil, like so, just a little bit. And the secret to making it taste good is chicken flavor soup base. So you take your chicken flavor soup base. Oh, that's too much. About two tablespoons. Throw in there, just a little extra for the kick. To your, your, your utensil cabinet, and I'll get a spoon. I don't have a potato masher, but I'll get this big spoon and chop, chop, chop. Mash them up. Alright, I'm gonna have to set the phone down while I mash them up. If anybody's ever had a twice baked potato, this is similar to a twice baked potato, but it's just mashed potato. So now once you get them all mashed up, they'll look like this. And another secret ingredient to them that really will make it taste good is some vinegar. And you're like, what's what vinegar has got to do with it? Well, you only need a splash of vinegar, but it's going to bring out all the flavors. Trust me. A gourmet cook that I used to know told me that about it. So you mix in the vinegar. It's okay, it's got little chunks in it. We live on a tugboat. I'm not cooking in the restaurant. We're a bunch of men and we're hungry and we're ready to eat. Then you take your cheese. Your four different kinds of cheese. You put them on top. That's not enough cheese. 
I'm gonna get another bag of cheese. I use Mexican style cheddar cheese. Forgive my poor camera manager. To where it looks like so. You come over here, you got your bacon. Chop up the bacon. Get your chopped bacon. Throw that on top. Then you get your kind of give it a little twirl because you just mix it in with the cheese a little bit. Got sour cream. I had to put it in the microwave because it was frozen. I never freeze sour cream because it messes it up. So I can't use the sour cream. Uh, I was going to put sour cream, but I know what I'll do. I improvise. This is the same thing. You got your Hidden Valley Ranch. You take, and you just going to put it in the middle. So it'll mix in whenever they want. Put your Inverly Ranch in the middle. Come back to your, uh, your onion. And you may cut you some fresh chives. You take your chives. Sprinkle them on top. And about 90% of the time, you eat with your eyes. So if it looks good, it's going to taste good too. So, and there you have it. Tugboat mashed potatoes. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Moon Man out.